Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about activity based costing. It is a very important question which has come up multiple times in our term and examination. So, this is a very important topic to be studied. Okay, even in the last term and examination just before you in the June 2022. The question had come as what is activity based costing, explain its main features, objectives, merits and demerits and describe the process for the implementation of activity based costing. So this was the question which came uh, in other previous question papers also we have seen questions based on activity based costing. So in case you feel like you don't have enough time to actually spend on listening to my video, no, absolutely not an issue. I will upload this EPT in our telegram channel. You can download this from there and study on your own. All right. So. For those of you who want to ha know the explanation, stay tuned. Others, you can uh, freely drop off. Okay, so before we start learning about what is uh, activity-based costing, we need to know about two important types of costing. That is direct and indirect costing. So what is indirect costing? Indirect costs are those costs which is not directly accountable to a cost object. Okay, so a cost object is nothing but like uh, maybe it's like an object that ha has an associated cost with it like a project okay or maybe a facility a building okay security shipping postage utility rent administration cost all these things okay so uh, uh, like direct cost indirect cost may also be fixed or variable okay and but indirect cost they include as we said earlier administration personal security cost all those things okay which is not directly related to production and some of these indirect cost may be overhead but um, it is not necessary okay so what is direct cost direct cost are those cost which is directly accountable to a cost object okay so they include cost uh, associated with materials that are used in manufacturing labor that is your employees then direct expenses like having to pay royalty to uh, somebody or to a patent holder for a specific production process so all those things are direct cost then uh, cost which cannot be uh, uh, what you can say associated to such things they are called indirect costs now uh, so uh, while we were talking about indirect cost we told about overheads right so what is an overhead an overhead or uh, otherwise known as an overhead expense it refers to some uh, something like an ongoing expense of operating a business okay like for example you might have rented some cars for your higher officials to use or somebody to use while uh, they are in your company okay so you have to constantly keep on paying for the cost of that car okay rented cars so that is an overhead cost which comes above your other operating cost like right? uh, similarly employee salary office equipment and supplies travel and entertainment cost so all these things right so these uh, overheads they are still vital to business operations because they provide the critical support for businesses to carry out the profit making activities okay so uh, again so overheads also they cannot be immediately associated with the product or the service being offered right for example l'oreal their product may be uh, one of their product is shampoo but if uh, the employee salary they can, uh, that is not something that is related to the product right you need employees so that you they will make you the shampoo you need the research team the scientists there to make the formula you need the production line executives and everybody right and they need to be paid so it is an overhead cost that is not associated with the product or the service being offered it is required for the smooth functioning of the profit making activities of our business okay so those are act, uh, overhead so coming to our activity based costing so it abc or also known as activity based costing it is a costing method that identifies these activities in an organization okay all the activities in an organization it identifies it and it, it assigns the cost of each activity to all the products and services according to the actual consumption by each so this model it actually assigns uh, the more indirect cost or overhead cost into the direct cost compared to our conventional costing method okay so um, any events or unit of work or task with a specific goal all these things okay like uh, setting up of machine for production or designing products distribution of this finished goods or operating machines all these things the cost that comes with all these things it is assigned to uh, the corresponding cost objects so under this abc system what happens is that an activity it can also be considered as any transaction or event that is a cost driver now what a cost driver is it is uh, it is an activity driver that is used to refer to an allocation base like for example machine setup or mach uh, maintenance request or consumed power purchase order all those things okay now there are two categories of activity measures first is transaction driver 
which involves counting how many times an activity occurs and the duration. Uh, and then the other is the duration driver which measures for how long an activity takes to complete. Okay. So, those are the two categories of the activity measures in ABC that is activity based costing. So, unlike this traditional cost measurement system which depends on the volume such as machine hours or direct labor hours to allocate the indirect or overhead cost to products. What ABC does is it classifies five broad levels of activity okay, to a, uh, that are to a certain extent actually unrelated to how many units are produced even and these uh, levels they are uh, like batch level activity, unit level activity or customer level activity, organization sustaining activity, product level activity like that. Activity based costing, it uh, divides activities into these five broad categories and then it assigns cost. Okay, like for example, if it is your electricity cost, then for a particular batch, how much electricity was used or for this particular, in this particular unit, how much electricity was used. So based on that, the total electricity bill will be assigned cost from this total uh, electricity bill will be assigned to each of these activities okay so like that uh, the costing will be uh, what you can say costing will be uh, done so the cost uh, abc costing formula is the to cost called total divided by the cost driver so suppose your total electricity bill came to 1 lakh rupees then um, how many units were produced then that 1 lakh rupees will be divided by let's say for example you produce 2 crore products units so that entire 2 crore units will be, uh, this 1 lakh rupee electricity cost, it will be divided to the entire 2 crore. And then from that you will find out how much uh, amount of money you had to spend for one per producing one particular unit. Okay, so that is how activity based costing works. So what happens is that this ABC process, it enhances the costing process in mainly three ways. Okay, so the first is that it expands the number of cost pool so that it can be used to assemble overhead cost. Instead of accumulating all cost in one company wide pool, the cost is split be, uh, between the activities. Okay. Second is it creates new basis for assigning these overhead costs to items such that cost allocated is based on the activities that generate these costs instead of the volume measures such as machine hour or direct labor cost. And finally, it alters the nature of the several indirect costs making costs that are previously considered indirect such as depreciation or utilities or salaries or something like that traceable to certain activities. Alternatively, it also transfers these overhead costs from high volume products to low volume products raising the unit cost of low volume products. Okay, like for example, so the example we said right 2 crore products so maybe it required 20 laborers then their salaries. So depending on so you can divide and find out how much salary has to be paid for one right. So like that. Uh, we can actually, um, what you can say like that, we can actually find out the cost that is, uh, so we can find out how much cost is exactly required to produce one unit. So from that you can find out how much cost will be required to produce one extra unit and then based on that you can calculate your profits and budgeting and all those things can be done much more easily. So next, what are the main features of activity based costing? So first and foremost, cost is pooled. Okay, not based on the department but according to the activities. Why? It is activity based co costing, right? So, uh, cost is pooled based on the activities that are involved in the production. It charges the overhead cost to product according to the activities that were involved in the product. Okay, instead of using an average overhead distribution raised as in case of a traditional method. So, for example, if producing, take for example our Laurel's example, okay. If Suppose you produced 100 units of shampoo and just 50 units of uh, conditioner, hair conditioner, okay. So, on an average, the traditional costing method it uh, and suppose say it uh, required, uh, let us assume say 10,000 or 10,000 rupees worth electricity. Uh, just an assumption, okay. It doesn't, it might not be costing that much, but just an assumption. So, what will happen is that in the traditional method of costing, okay, it will think like, okay, yeah, 150 products were used. So, let us divide the entire cost among all the products equally. But in activity based costing, rather than dividing it equally, it will assign more cost of electricity towards the shampoo and less towards the conditioner. Why? Because the number of conditioners produced were less. So, uh, naturally, the current produced for con uh, producing those many conditioners should ideally be less right but it always of course it depends upon the machines that were involved its power rating all those things so depending upon all those things for individual unit it will assign cost okay Th so all these in uh, indirect and overhead cost will be assigned based on all those things activities that is okay 
So what happens is that it leads to a more accurate cost information because of this easy traceability of cost according to the activities cost driver. So at one point of time if we want to find out how much amount how many units of conditioners can we produce more okay to get maximum profitability out of this unit. Uh, like we have had right when we were studying in 10th standard and all uh, based on this linear equations and all like uh, we used to draw graphs and find out the maximum number of uh, things that can be produced with so and so um, what you can say so and so number of resources and all you remember and we most probably would have thought where we will apply all this in our real lives right so these are the things where we actually I would say what all things we studied while we were at school especially max and we thought we are never going to apply this in our real life actually when you think about it depending upon the kind of streams that we take up for jobs I, some of them do come into picture not all but most of them do just because we were in school and we do not know what we will end up becoming we have to study all so that we are equipped to start learning about any kind of specialization right so this uh, abc costing actually helps us in determining all those things okay it helps in deter eliminating the non value added activities and therefore it reduces the per unit cost of the product so it helps actually in cost control so abc costing or uh, activity based costing is a good tool in having a cost control it results in more accurate cost calculation of this product or job as well so what are some of the objectives of abc when with abc a company can soundly estimate the cost elements of entire products activities and services that may help inform a company's decision to either identify and eliminate those products and services which are unprofitable okay and lower the price of those that are overpriced okay then so uh, identify and eliminate the production or service process which are ineffective allocate processing concept that lead to a the very same product at a better yield okay that is process re-engineering so suppose say we have two methods of producing the shampoo okay method a uses more resources but method b uses less resources compared to a but both result in the same output means if we can find out whether or not these two processes uh, result in the same uh, output or not if there is a way then naturally we will choose the uh, one with lesser input right so how do we know whether uh, it uh, both results in the same output with uh, different inputs through ABC costing right so the, all these things are tools all these kinds of costing and all these things that we are learning it is actually in order to help us become better business administrators right so in a business or organization this ABC methodology it actually assigns the organization's resource costs through activities to the products and services provided to its customers. It is generally used as a tool for understanding the product and customer cost and profitability based on the production or performing process. So what happens is that ABC it is predominantly being used to support the strategic decisions such as pricing, outsourcing, identification and measurement of process improvement initiatives. Okay, so some of the few merits of activity based costing is that it actually helps us learn about the different activity costs that is cost associated with these different activities. It helps identify profitable customers, right? Calculate cost of distribution channels, decide when we have we can outsource profitably, calculate the product margin, set minimum price points, determine the facility production cost and identify cost of low volume products. So what are low volume products? Low volume products you can think of as designer products and stuff, you know, things that are costly uh, or on the costlier side and are not produced much. It's not mass produced. Okay. Like for example, I don't know if you're a BTS fan when uh, the Samsung, uh, it's not just BTS. Okay. The, I, BTS, ex this example is what I could remember uh, most recently when Samsung launched their Z Flip. Was it Z Flip? Yeah, the foldable phone, not the tablet one, the one which... Uh, folds vertically like this okay so the z I, I believe it is this z flip itself yeah it is z flip the other one was z fold right so they actually created a purple colored version of it okay limited edition stuff it had purple colors and it was uh, something which related to bts uh, people who are into korean music would know about bts right yeah so that is a that is a low volume product okay so why because it is naturally it is limited edition right so that is an example of low volume product identify the cost of such low volume products some of the demerits are like uh, as the, there is it is like there are a lot of activities that have to be done before a final product is delivered right so what happens there will be a lot of different 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 cost pools and we have to assign cost to identify each of those cost pool and assign cost appropriately so what happens 
it is there are too many cost pools so it becomes very difficult to install and it requires also data from many 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 sources so information and also information can only can be collected once it uh, there is an avoidance of slack time reporting and requires additional data and it is only needed in a very complex environment okay, so those are the some of the demerits of abc costing so mainly this is the thing it is very time consuming and very complex compared to the traditional costing abc costing is much more complex okay now what are some of the processes of implementation of abc so abc calculation actually happens in these six steps okay in a series of these six steps first is we have to identify all the activities that are required to create this particular product sourcing of raw materials bringing it into our production facility we need the machines there we need skilled laborers we need the internal transportation we need uh, electricity water may be required so all the different 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 activities which are required to create the product we have to identify then we need to divide these activities into different cost pools which will include all the individual cost related to an activity like manufacturing okay then we have to calculate the total overhead of each of this cost pool then assign each cost pool activity to the cost drivers such as either hours or units like we have duration drivers as well as transaction drivers right now calculate the cost driver rate by dividing the total overhead in each cost pool by the total cost driver okay that is abc costing formula which we saw earlier now we will divide the total overhead of each of this cost pool by the total cost driver to get the total uh, to get the cost driver rate after that we have to multiply this cost driver rate by the number of cost drivers so this is the six steps in um, implementation of abc so naturally this is not an easy process it is time consuming it is resource intensive and uh, it is complex as well right so but it will help a lot in uh, what you can say um, very precise management or precise control budgetary or cost controls it will help okay so that is about abc that is activity based costing this is an important concept which has come up multiple times okay so there is a good chance that it could come in our this term and examination as well i hope you understood this uh, i hope you got an idea about what activity based costing is if you have any doubts do let me know i will upload this ppt in our telegram channel it will be available free uh, for free for you to download and study okay so all the very best Uh, if you like our content do subscribe uh, to our channel we will be uploading more and more videos so all the best uh, see you in the next video bye bye